Auto Fanatic here. Got a, another quick storage solution for your garage, home workshop, shop at work, whatever. Uh, anyway, I've been acquiring a hell of a lot of gallons uh, in the last couple of months, and I usually have been keeping them underneath my workbench on a custom bracket that I made. But being that I moved this work table around so much, uh, one or two of the gallons tends to tip over and it causes a total uh, pain in the ass because sometimes they seep out of the, uh, the pump nozzles. So I've been looking online and uh, I used to have a, a big large cabinet in here but now it's taken, that section of the garage is taken up by my uh, larger drill press. And I used to have a large cabinet where I used to keep all the larger gallon containers. I don't have that anymore. So I needed a quick simple storage solution and I wanted something that could hold the gallons on all four corners so it doesn't tip over. Now Griot's Garage makes like a shelf and a, a bunch of companies make stainless steel shelves or steel shelves that are powder coated but they don't have the side supports or the front support the way I wanted it. Uh, just because like I said this stuff adds a lot of weight and if you start knocking stuff over you're just going to spill and lose product. So I did a search online. Griot's used to make a, a wall bracket like this many years ago. They no longer offer it. Uh, there's a company called Rhino. Here's a couple of photos of the Rhino one. Uh, these are just cheap stamp steel imported. Uh, they're like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. They only come in red and they come in white. I personally don't like red cabinets or brackets mounted on my wall. I like to designate red for toolboxes or hardware cabinets. I, that's just my personal preference. So I really wanted something neutral, either silver, gray, natural aluminum or natural stainless. And I called a buddy of mine that manages a Porsche race team and I was just asking him because like I said last time I was in the uh, trailer a number of months back I know they have all these aluminum racks and everything for oil and, and gallon containers and everything and he told me the company's called Prairie View Industries and I never really heard of them so if you look at the sticker here uh, they're based out of Nebraska and I did a Google search online they primarily make aluminum ramps and loading areas uh, for handicapped vehicles, uh, for hospitals, for institutions, stuff like that. That's their bread and butter business. Family owned company, uh, they're a really large manufacturer and they specialize in stuff like this. They have another division, if you go on their website, they have can holders, gallon containers, all kinds of cool stuff. And I called them up on the phone, I said, hey, I'm just interested in buying something. Uh, but they don't really, really want to sell over the phone or directly to you. They're not set up like that. They're more uh, a, a major manufacturing company that sells to distributors. So the guy in the phone that I talked to, he said, just go on Amazon. And I was like, really? And he's, he's like, yeah. So he gave me the part number, typed it in. Uh, it, it was just easier for the transaction. Uh, 45 bucks, it showed up. And here it is. I just want to give you a quick review of it. I mean, it's all hand built, all TIG welded, all the way across. It's got a nice, what they call a number four satin finish. And uh, you could put four gallons, like I'll show you here. Perfectly. Okay, so that's a perfect uh, storage solution. I think it looks great, uh, easy to mount. So what I did, let me show you here. I took the, the bracket does not come with mounting hardware or a hole. So I used my caliper and I marked and scribed about a quarter of an inch down from the top lip on both sides and I measured in, inboard from here to here and I marked it with the ruler, scribed the line, used my center punch. Uh, I drilled a slightly oversized hole just so when we get it on the wall, if we have to do any shimming, you know, when we put the level on it, uh, it'll just give it a little bit more wiggle room. I'm using stainless steel hex lag bolts with stainless steel washers. Uh, this is definitely going to secure it right into the studs. I already found the studs on the wall. I pre-drill them with a quarter inch drill bit just because you don't want to start driving this into, into a 2x4. Uh, you actually could split the 2x4 without pre-drilling it. And it's just a little extra step, but uh, it works out great. So I'm going to get this mounted on the wall. I'm going to turn the camera back on on the other side of the garage. I actually ordered another one to put my gallons of mineral spirits, Prepsol, acetone, and denatured alcohol. 
uh, because I want to get all of those products out of my cabinets that are on the wall because I really need that space. I just have too much stuff and storage seems to be a problem for a lot of guys like us. Uh, we just acquire too much stuff and you want to keep this stuff, especially the gallon containers, readily available. If you get it on a shelf in a cabinet on the wall, sometimes it can be really hard to get it out when you need it. Um, and I think this is a great solution. You know, 45 bucks, made in America, handmade, all TIG welded out of uh, aluminum. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the manufacturing company, and I'll put a link to this on Amazon. If you call them, they will give you a part number for anything on their website, and most likely you could do the transaction through Amazon and make your life a lot easier. So if you're like me, you don't want to put a red, a funky blue, or a white apparatus of such on the wall. This is a, a viable solution. They're affordable. Stainless steel versions of something like this go anywhere between $200 to $400, depending on the manufacturer. I just don't think it's worth it. It's just overkill. You're just putting chemicals and containers, and it's pretty much just a quick, simple storage solution to get these containers out of your wall cabinets, easily accessible to where you need to get to them, uh, one, two, three. So let me get this thing mounted, and I'll show you guys when we're all done. All right, guys, so I always start lag bolts by hand. I don't want to use the impact gun. And uh, we just got this started for you. I'm just using a 3 8 drive gear wrench ratchet. And you don't want to kill it. You want to snug it. And you're going you're gonna to hear it. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So I just think these are a great solution. This thing is not going anywhere. Now, I'll show you guys. I got another rack. Uh, this is from one of my supplying vendors. I absolutely hate the color. I did not want to waste time painting it or powder coating it. So this is coming off the wall, and it's going to be replaced with another one of these on the left side. That's going to be for the cans. And then I'm going to get another one of these that's going to go right next to it. That's going to be all my gallon containers for acetone, Prepsol, and all the other uh, solvent-based chemicals. So let me get this thing loaded up and I'll show you guys how it looks. So there you go, guys. This is the, uh, the Prairie View Industries aluminum wall-mounted gallon container rack. It works perfect. When you do this, make sure you measure to accommodate the pumps. It's usually about 17 and a half inches. Give yourself a little bit of room. Always turn the pumps inboard so if there is any seepage it goes inside here uh, like I said if you want you can put a rubber liner you can always pull these out easy to clean this is never gonna rust never gonna corrode if you want to go crazy you could get some mothers and high polish this thing you could get some scotch bright you could brush it and do whatever the hell you want with it uh, but I'll put a link in the description for this really cool wall mounted bracket any questions comments post them below but uh, you guys really should consider this for your garage it's neutral it's what the race guys are using. It's badass. And uh, you saw it here first. Autofanatic at yahoo.com. See you guys soon for some more tips.